Welcome back. The United Nations Refugee Agency says close to a million people left Ukraine since Russia invaded last week. Almost half of the scarred, homeless and traumatized refugees have poured into neighboring Poland. Suzanne Lawler shows you how one Mercer professor is trying to help more than 5,000 miles away. And I saw my countrymen and women drive to the border to help bring in people, refugees, into their home, bringing them food and everything they have. And I'm here just watching from afar and there is nothing I can do. Anja Rina Szewska is from Poland. My entire Facebook literally is filled with people from Poland and Ukraine. Rina Szewska did find something to do. The Mercer marketing professor has a goat farm in Byron and a side business selling soaps and candles and other beauty products. I figured I could use my business for something good. and I Each soap and candle get a little label of Ukrainian refugees. Last Sunday, she began donating 60% of the proceeds to the Polish Red Cross. I've contacted them actually directly and I spoke to them and they said all the money is going to go to Ukrainian refugees. The soaps have a sunflower on the front. It's becoming a global symbol of solidarity. And ironically, Oliver Farm, the folks who grow sunflowers in Pitts, Georgia, donated 40 pounds of oil. The candles? Well, the scent has meaning too. White tea, very relaxing, although it's not relaxing times, but we need a little bit of inner peace. For Rina Shevska, peace is hard to come by. She's worried on so many different levels. Well, I don't know if I can talk about this. Of course, I'm stressed and I'm barely holding on. Um, because these are our neighbors. So far, she has raised $1,000. I'm getting orders every hour, which is very unusual for my small business. I just get, you know, a couple orders a day. Ukrainians will never know her name, but the professor with the empathetic heart has battled her own fears with a flame of hope for others. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. The soap is $8.50. The candles are $20. You can find the products in a couple of stores. Frankie's Boutique in Macon and the station in Pitts have both said they will not take a profit from sales. And for a link to her business, Lux Leones, look for this story at 13WMAZ.com. And coming up tonight,